so here it is, the blade and the tang. So there, for a bit, probably you saw on the time lapse that I did a little bit of spraying from what it looked like, and that was just to keep the part that I was handling nice and cool so I would actually be able to handle it while I was uh, building the handle and finishing out the blade. So uh, that explains the occasional mist that you'll see in there, um, or that you saw in there. Pretty much all that's left to do is the heat treatment on this thing, and for that I'm probably going to treat the top half of the blade, the bottom half, not sure what I'm going to do with it, but I'm going to use a technique called painting the blade, and that is pretty much running it through the forge while it's hot um, to try and get the whole thing covered. It might, might not work. I uh, don't know, I've seen it done a couple of times, but uh, I'm not sure how well I'll be able to do it, so... I'm going to make an attempt at it right now. Here is the attempt. Okay, I gotta somehow figure out how to get all that oil into this and somehow make it work to quench that. And this is the problem with quenching something that's curved. Sometimes it warps a little bit more than you want it to, and it sticks in the pipe. But I was at least able to reclaim the oil. Mostly. Got a big mess to clean up. All right, y'all, got the tang forged out, clamped in here. Y'all know what comes next. I'll go ahead and cut it off. Alright y'all, for the cross guard I'm going to be using this magnesium bronze that I made. It's got some magnesium in it, some aluminum, and a whole lot of copper. So I got a little piece cut out right here for the cross guard. Still don't have the pommel yet, but it's coming soon. It's coming soon. Anyway, I think I'm going to end it off here for today. Just found a good stopping point. So I think I'm going to tackle the grinding and sanding at a later date. I have a little bit more time to do that. But for now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for joining me. And I hope you all have a great day.